Oh, it's no secret that movie theaters have struggled during the pandemic, but the MSP Film Society is hoping to change that. WCCO's John Lortzen shows us how an old theater could generate new interest in films here and overseas. Going to the movies is it's part of our culture. It's what we do. As the MSP Film Society celebrates its 60th year, they've been exploring ways to create more exposure for young filmmakers. Now they think they've found it. We also feel that Minneapolis should have a center, a film center, a media center, and this will be it. For more than a decade, the Film Society has been using the historic St. Anthony Main Theater for the annual Minneapolis St. Paul International Film Festival. But thanks to a newly signed long term lease, they'll be able to use the theater year round and take advantage of its five screens, giving Minnesota filmmakers more screen time. It gives them, I think, a a sort of a trophy to the work that they have done over the years of not just seeing films, but also making films. The St. Anthony Main Movie Theater hasn't been renovated since it opened its doors in 1985. The plan is to give the theater a facelift while keeping some of its historical features intact. Rendering show sound and picture upgrades along with more open spaces and new flooring. There's a lot of donors. It's run by like very intelligent people. People said I was gonna die 18 years old. Minnesota filmmaker Ben May, whose documentary The Legend of Sweet Pea received praise at the film festival, believes year-round access to independent films in Minneapolis is a game changer. That's going to be huge. I mean, it's a massive opportunity for this community. The plan is still to show international and even Hollywood blockbuster movies at the main, but now local filmmakers will also get far more time on the big screen. This is a flagship for the Twin Cities specifically, but actually for the whole region, of actually being able to be receptive to the films that are put out by people in this community. In Minneapolis, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Film Society is hoping to have the renovations done before this year's Minneapolis International Film Festival in May. Funding the lease was made possible through donors, supporters, and grants.